Also tonight, lava covered a well that was plugged at Puna Geothermal Venture, and the flow was about 100 feet away from a second one. Authorities say both are stable and secured, and neither well is expected to release any hydrogen sulfide. Lava from fissures 7 and 21 traveled onto the Puna Geothermal Venture property. The flow is closing in on four wells on well pad E, including KS-14, the one that resisted quenching efforts and had to be plugged with a clay substance. A special Pacific Air cargo flight from Los Angeles arrived in Kona today. On board, about 200,000 pounds of a mud-like substance for the PGV facility. system was active. Uh, one of the fountains was going up to 60 yards high. Today that has changed. Uh, that whole section has become inactive and the fissure immediately uprift of that in the middle of Leilani uh, became active late last night and sent a flow into uh, Leilani Estates on Luana Street. That moved north almost through the whole street and then turned northeast and cut across Makamai, Kaha, Hakai and Pohuiki. Um, it crossed Pohuiki at about 6.30 this morning and is slowly moving forward from there at a few, uh, a few yards per hour. The channel velocity coming out of the fissure though is at uh, 3 feet per second which is very fast so it's pushing this flow forward um, quickly from behind but it's spreading out in a wide space so that way the front is not moving as fast as the channel is. While authorities say Fisher 24 opened up in Lilania Estates and vents 8 and 16 reactivated. But the biggest producer is still Fisher 7, which has two main channels, one going toward PGV and the other heading south, which could start a new ocean entry in the next couple of days. To rescue a resident of Leilani Avenue who became trapped by lava in Leilani Estates tonight. And earlier this evening, a civil defense sent out an alert to anyone still inside the evacuation zone downslope of the flow gushing out of Fisher 7. The evacuation warning is for Leilani Estates residents on Nohea Street and Luana Street between Leilani Avenue and Kahukai Street and Kupono Street between Malama Street and Leilani Avenue. Officials say the flow is moving quickly and residents need to get out immediately. We feel confident that the risk has been mitigated. You know, we continue to monitor and will monitor and we do have systems in place to inform the public should we believe uh, that there is a risk to their health. Starting today, the State Department of Transportation is lowering the speed limit on Highway 130 to 25 miles per hour near mile markers 14.4 and 14.6. Officials say the change is necessary for the safety of residents driving over the steel plates installed over cracks caused by volcanic activity.
Comparing these two satellite images shows that over at Kilauea summit, the eruptive vent continues to expand as a result of magma withdrawing from directly beneath Halema'uma'u crater. A big challenge for scientists tracking the lava activity is figuring out what will happen next. Since the opening of the first fissure on May 3rd, NASA has been offering assistance to monitor Kilauea. Researchers have been using five satellites high above Earth to provide information on eruption patterns and track things like fissures, fires, ash and sulfur dioxide plumes. A research aircraft is also carrying an instrument called GLSEN, which is collecting data to measure changes in topography from the new lava flows.